Coming up on today's show, we talk about pick me's. We talk about A1 from the nine calling out fake bad boys. We're going to talk about lovely, mature woman trying to give a young lady advice and she just wasn't trying to hear it. We also talk about how Sierra has a whole family and seemingly still wants to be for the streets. We also talk about how Laurie Harvey's (laughs) three-month contract for Damson Idris is now up and she's back out doing her thing. And lastly, we also talk about how Grape has been made a non-emergency, yes, a non-emergency by Kent Police. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shit, I know you choked. <laughs> you know you don't choke. Oh. <laughs> you say you, you just swallowed it. Yeah, moving grab a lish. You always feel weird, bro. Oh, you need to pause, cuz. These faces that man You said it, mate. Like, I just said, yeah, you get me? You, you, you <laughs> yeah. was the one talking about swallowing it. <laughs> and now you just said it. <laughs> Baba, you talking about swallowing, mate. Hey, you're the one that said yeah. I didn't hear what you said properly, Baba. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do the intro. I just agreeing, you get me? <laughs> you saying yes, man, we. <laughs> so do the intro, yeah? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> This nigga's gay as hell. <laughs> well, you can spit. That, that, that is fucking gay as well, fam. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying after to that? I didn't even hear him. I'm not repeating that, boy. What did he say? You're going to spit? <laughs> <laughs> you know how slimy niggas. Oh, my God. It's getting worse. <laughs> you know, it gets worse. <laughs> All right. Let's start the hello, hello, pause, fam. Hello, pause, fam. I had the whole thing, you know. All right. <laughs> now, where was that? <laughs> you say breathe in and out. You know what that smells like? Inhale, exhale. It smells like a new pod. A <laughs> new week. A new month, actually. New energy. Because just like that, we're back. <laughs> MTTE, more to the ends podcast with myself, Big Cam. And you know I'm not by myself in the building. Who else we got in the building? Oh, you thought we were done? <laughs> you know it's your boy E Man J on the beat. We back better than before. Get me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 almost rap, almost wrapped myself, but yeah, I'm gonna give it to Ghost. I'm gonna give it to Ghost. You know, J Ghost, J Ghost, Ghost J, whatever way. We're back. There you are. There you are. Listen, oh. it feels good to be back. I can't lie. When you Just, haven't done something for a long time, you kind of don't even realise, raw like, this is where man belongs. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel at home. I love it. I think I deserve it. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is a pick me, though? We'll get to that. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll, no? we'll, get, we'll get to These that. These new words. We'll, get, that, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Pissing we'll get to me that. off. We'll get bro. to that. Yeah. But what? yeah, what's the man them saying? How we do? That's fucked, bro. What the man? That's crazy story. Bro, you see, like, I feel like they're giving women reasons to talk shit. Bro. You're, you're giving women reasons to to talk that, the power shit and the, the, the um, what's it? Te- like, the male, struggle. male, yeah, just like, bro, come on, man. Who, who? That's mad. Whoever made that law is there was no gal in the room when but they this, made that law. See, do you see what you just said? That's exactly what I was gonna say. You ever watch um, any show, any film, and it's obviously a boardroom meeting. Things get brought up. They say, "Ah, oh, well, we're thinking about this, boss. What do you think? Who brought that up? And who looked at that and said, you know what? That's a good idea. That's a great idea. That's not a non-emergency. Fuck, that's who, mad, who, that's who thought mad. that was clever? Bro, like I that, said before, fam. That's mad. The guys but, that made up this rules are probably the people that are doing it. That's mad, fam. I said, the, the, yeah, what, the feds, yeah? The feds, the feds are doing all that. Insert hey, Fredo's bro. bar where he said, you get more for drugs than for touching kids or for ours, yeah? Insert that bar here, bro, because it's the facts. That's to this bro. day, still don't understand why that's a thing, but that's neither here nor there. 
Man them, we can collectively agree that's some stupid shit. 100. Anyway, I do want to talk about this and I do think you lot must have seen it because it's been out for a few days. I feel like because there's money involved. Sorry to cut you. No, no, go on. The rape thing and the, the drug thing because mm. there's money involved and it's tax free. But that, that, I feel that, like, that, <laughs> I feel like that indicates, isn't it? You're, you're making drugs money, you're making mm-hmm. grands and grands and yeah. grands, bro. Tax Which they free. can't tax, yeah. You get Shout it. out tax free as well. So they're saying they're probably on something like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we gotta get him, mate. You know, <laughs> the tax man, the tax man, bro, the tax man's arm is longer than the laws, fam. And imagine the, the crime. Don't play with the IRS if you're in America, you know. Yeah, yeah. Them man, they're not they're, on they're no different games, breed, fam. bruv. Man said, yeah, 10 years you ain't paid tax. All right, say no more. I'll see you in November or December or whenever they're... And the last thing is, they'll let, you, they'll let you load as well. That's what I said. What, 10 you years load. you ain't been doing... It. All right, but you know no what, bro? I, personally, yeah. You mm. see how, how America's set up? I'm not trying to fuck around and do some, do anything dumb in America. Bro. Because it's like... like <laughs> It's like, bro, you don't even have to be in prison. No. And you're in prison. Do you get what I'm saying, bro? Bro, don't pay child support. You can't fly, can't leave the state. Nah, bro. You're done. Can't leave the state if you don't pay child support, you know, fam. Say your grand granny's dead in, in the next estate. The next state, sorry. You get it? Like, mm. family you. members in, I, I, in, I, I, in I, I, need of your help. You. I, I, I don't you know. Can't I go, don't know it's that bro, deep, fam. Bro, bro you can't child. go to the next... Bro, you nothing, can't bro. leave the state if you ain't paid child support, bro. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. You can't fly out of the country... It's a myth. <laughs> Imagine you got to the airport, new your new gal and that. You didn't tell her about no babies and that. <laughs> um, sorry, you can't board this flight. Right you no, paid no, your no. <laughs> All you're gonna hear is, yeah, sorry, sorry, sir. Uh, there's a That's there's currently a warrant out for your arrest. And, uh, <laughs> due, due to that bro, fact, uh, the worst thing is they won't even do that. They'll just call the feds without you in your own home. Could you step to the side for just, me, sir? I just keep the Could you step to the side for me, sir? That's you done. But yeah, it's 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 long still. Um, as I said, I did want to bring this up. I don't know if you have seen this. I do think you have, but I'm going to play it anyway for the people. I'm cheating you. First of all, you want to find out. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh-uh. Listen to me, Adiola. Um, see, this is no, what no, I mean no. about African. No, 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 no. Why is that? No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm such an African. I'm I'm listen, listen. I'm trying it's to not an African. African. We've let lost, cook, let cook, let lost cook, our let culture, cook, bro. Let cook, let cook. Okay. Be wrong. Cook. Because when somebody cheats, if like okay, if you're going out with a lady or a guy, but why is it that why is it, it what might she not be wrong? what I'm saying it could be what, the is mom land. Wrong or what she's done wrong. But why just, has she done wrong? The, Adela, let me just Okay, okay. <laughs> like, let, let me just <laughs> don't they not marry? Because we want to find out sometimes if you're going out with a girl. It could be like uh, a girl that dress well, that does uh, makeup, that's outgoing, that does things, that exciting things that make them happy together. And some people along the line, they're so well relaxed that, okay, I've got my man. Mm-hmm. I don't have to do all this, at least. Mm-hmm. He knows I'm beautiful. He knows I dress where we want to go out. But all these things that the guy saw in that lady, you back out of it. You don't look after yourself, probably you don't do your hair nice. And some guys might not tell you. This is everything that they brainwashed you to think. Right, first of all, before we say our thoughts and opinions, shout out to both of those ladies because it sparks a conversation. Respect to the mummy as well, beautiful woman just trying to give some wisdom. And shout out to Adiola as well, young lady doing her thing anyway. Wisdom. Man them, thoughts and opinions, I'll let you lock talk. I just want to say one thing. Go for it. This is why the older generation, their marriage is lost. Uh, and this is why the younger generation can't get married. Th- or they do get married and the marriage ends after a year or two. And you see, you see what I think is Same a mad... Their relationships. You see what I think is a mad, like, part of that, that mm-hmm. clip there. You see where she said, you've been brainwashed to think that. The irony, it's completely the, the opposite way around. That. You know the that, right? Of course. Of course. You know that it's the complete the opposite way around. The mum should have said that to the daughter. Like, you've been brainwashed to think that you should be doing certain things or you shouldn't be doing certain Bro. things. And that is the problem. Bro. But you see what I feel like the problem is as well? Go on. I feel like 
we're completely westernized. Mm. Our culture is completely, completely been stripped, whitewashed and westernized. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Go back. If you go back to Africa, I can't even say Jamaica, bro, because we're just wild. If you go back to Africa, yeah. No, but there's still a... There's still even, a... even, yeah, if the, 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 the next generation. Shout out my mum as well. If you go yeah, back to wild. Africa, yeah, our culture, our culture, like black people's culture mm. in itself back in the day, not mm. even nowadays, everybody's fucked. Mm. You get it? There's mm. too much. You, we're seeing too much. We're, we're reading into too much. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, our cultures were different. Do you get what I'm saying? So, right. It was completely different. And even, like, you see, everybody says social media plays a big part, but you got to understand <clears> it plays a massive part, bro. Yeah, of course a it does. Ma- we, you know, I watched, it, I, right? I put up a meme the other day and the guy was saying, back in the day, I couldn't see 15, 20, 50 gal mm. in one day. One showing day, their thing. Minute, yeah, it wouldn't be like scroll. that. It would be a thing of, <laughs> just if I, the, if, just go next it would be a thing yeah. of, it oh, would be a thing man. of, if I liked my girl, <laughs> Yeah. It'll think of you get me. He was saying it will be a thing of if I liked a girl, mm. it's because she was somebody I knew. Mm. She probably, she probably may or may not have lived close to me, but the only way I could get through to her was by phoning her house phone. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. It's, you get what I'm saying. It wasn't and in so that easy. sense, and in that sense, I haven't got. There's, there's nowhere on earth you have school. so much options. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Shout, Nowadays, shout there's, out 0800 reverse, but there's on. so much different options out there, bro. <laughs> We're human beings, you know. No, of Do you get what I'm saying? And like I said, I've said it in pods before. Mm. Our mind records even when we don't want it to record. Subconscious, man. You get it? Your brain mm. is fully always recording. Yeah, yeah. So regardless to what you see and your morals are right in the right place sometimes and you might acknowledge it, mm. it's always there. It's in the library. Let me, let me Do you get what I'm saying, bro? Let me Do you understand what I mean, though? Like, I know exactly what You can have bro. the best of morals, but... You've got that that picture that you've seen. That guy is nice. Your morals are right, though. Mm. So that's not none of your business. You might, you get me. You might think he's nice. You might think she's nice. Let me cook. It's recorded in your mind. Do you get what I'm saying? Let me cook. So when you do break up with your, or if, God forbid, you do break up with your, do you know what I mean? Mm. Them options that weren't there before because your morals were right and now are here. Yeah, yeah. So instead of you healing. They're always there. So instead of you healing. Chilling out, one. doing your thing, finding yourself again, finding what you like again. Right back. The on options streets. come. Do you get what I'm saying, brother? Listen, bro. Let me cook. Let me cook. Brother, let me cook. Mad so here's my thing with I this just stuff, think it's yeah? mad, bro. As I said, it's a conversation. I feel like that's, I want to be single forever. <laughs> let me cook. Let me cook. Yeah. So here's the thing. This is this is my perspective on it. Yeah. It's not about bashing women. Scrap that mentality. It's not about that. What man's saying is, yeah. We've got to a point now. And we have to say it's predominantly a black thing, whether it be Caribbean or African, because we we seem to all be adopting this bullshit. You don't see certain demographics, whether they be Hispanic or white or Asian, talking about they don't want to get married and they don't need a man and rare. They understand to to build an, em- an empire, you need both of these people working together. Compromise, man. Huh? Compromise. Compromise, right? So when the mum is explaining to her daughter. When you first get a man, look at all the things that you did to attract him. You get the man, and in your brain, you think, right, that's my job done. In fact, that's when the work starts. You're supposed to do things daily, every <coughs> single day, to keep that man. Now, as mummy said, if your man's eye starts wandering, because when he's looking at his missus, which he signed up for, he signed you on a nice long-term contract, married you, yeah? Let's sit, we're going with marriage, because... Mm. this is what we're talking about obviously relationships are relationships too but we're talking about marriage isn't it man signed up to this long term contract after the first season man's looking at you man's thinking bro like you're, you've grown twice in size like you never like try and put on makeup you never change your hair man's always getting bonnet chronicles like do you get it like you're all the, and the wickedest man's thing wait bonnet, bonnet chronicles, bonnet chronicles <laughs> and the wickedest thing is the, the moment when you seem to want to zhuzh up yourself and look nice and that is mm. for your friend's party. It's when you're going out with your brethren. It's for your own thing that you've got going on. Maybe you started a YouTube channel, whatever it is. Whenever it's something to do with you, just you independent of your man, then yeah, it's time to fix up and I want to lose weight and rare, rare. But you should have that mentality always. Not just for your man, for yourself. But with your man in mind, 
Do you get it? The the way that I look at this stuff is, as a man, I do everything in my power so that my chick looks at me and goes, if I lose him, I'm fucked. Mm. That's my pro. That's my thought process. I don't think, raw. I've got... That's the way, bro. I, don't think, I feel like that's the I way it's cool. think, Like That's oh, the way, bro. I don't think, oh, I've got my girl now. Done. What? But do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, I feel bro. like... I feel Especially like, with the options that you know we said what I feel are available. Like, I feel like it's only... It's oh, only man. them females that are really understanding that kind of understand that men actually do that. Do you know that? Girls don't realise that you mean, men... You mean the ones that appreciate? Yeah, you know right, that? Right. You know that some females don't realise that men do that a lot, you know, bro? No. You see, once we get a girl... Tell me... Right, tell, watch this shit. <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong. When you, when you get with a girl, it's that, it's that talking stage. Mm. You see, when you're, your first time you're going to the yard... Tell me how fresh you are. Brother. Tell me how fresh... You see, you had to laugh. Brother. Tell me how fresh you are. Brother. You are the freshest you've ever been on. <laughs> your nails are cut. Your Man. toenails are brother. cut. I'm pulled up with a bottle. <laughs> Brother, I was, I was so fresh. I was over spraying myself. Bro, I was so fresh that my girl's mum was like, bro, I'm not going to lie, I thought you was too overconfident. Like, you was brother. too... too brother. You was too full of yourself. Brother. And it wasn't because I, I was. Cool. It was just because now, I, was like, I know I'm I, doing and now, everything. And now watch me flip mm. it. Watch me flip it. And now it's imagine myself. being with a girl, yeah, mm. that you do that for, and then she becomes a hater of you. Yeah, allow me, bro. Allow me, bro. <laughs> like, what is the point? Like, like, do you understand what I mean? Like, when I'm saying she be. becomes a hater of you, I mean, like, she doesn't, like, hate you. No. But now she looks at you like, raw. you're over nice. Mm. These so you times you're saying, hers, you know. So the hidden jealousy becomes something just because you're trying to impress your gal, you know. You see it. So you're secretly trying to impress your gal. You're getting your trim. You're looking good. You get me. You know how to close yourself. You know how to dress. Your trainers, your crep, everything match. Bro. You get me. <laughs> she don't like like secretly. It's okay once when she's with you when you're together. But secretly, she looks at it like, raw. that's... Like, you're, out of the two of us in a relationship, you're the nice one. Well... Imagine I've had a girl say that to me, bro. Bro, but this is... This but is, I can't... How, how do you say that? No, but... See, to a man. How do you the, say out of the two of us in the relationship, you're the nice one? Because... Because... What, but, go, go, go. I'll let you come. Like, I don't care how nice I am. I love how nice you are, but I will never judge it in a way to... It's competition. Yeah, mm. wherever it's us. But I'm really, going to judge it to... Maybe another female or other see, females. See, you, Never myself. I can't judge how nice you are on me. Do you remember that episode? I'm happy that's how crazy. nice you are because I've got you. Do you remember the episode when you I was talking? It, it was like, me, it was bro. me, you, <laughs> bro. Rick, and I think was he even there that I feel like you was there that episode. Go on. But basically we were talking about when you get into these mini arguments with Gal, they genuinely treat her as a competition, like I'm gonna win the argument, not realizing the whole purpose of whatever we're doing is to come to a conclusion so we can be better <laughs> together. Bro. That's the bottom line. Bro. It's not It's not me you know, versus you a lot to of, level up against you. See, you. you see me? Re- you no. See me. We're on the you same see me. team. You see me? Like, I'm happy you broke it down to me. You see what sapiosexual is. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy you brought that down to me, you know, bro. Because for a long time, I just thought to myself, am I entertaining these dumb bitches, bro? How am I into Like, it just gets on my fucking nerves when you just talk shit. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you ain't got God nothing to educate me with. Yeah, Do you get word, what I'm word, saying? Word. You've got nothing at all to educate me with. Word. Nothing. Me just, just internet shit. Bro. Do you get what I'm saying? Just bro? loving hip hop shit. Bro, it pisses me off, bro. But Dude. you see what? Yeah, like. Trying yeah. to be the next little baby and Jay the way. Brother. Bro, it's, it's so, it's so, it's so exhausting when you're in a relationship, yeah? God. When you know that you see halfway through this argument. You see, if she started smiling at you, the argument would be done. You know, like that, fam. And you would probably sit down and laugh with her like, babes, don't do that no more. Or she might sit down with you like, babes, don't do that no more. Ghost, do you know what you're talking about? Do you get what I'm saying, fam? Wait, wait, Ghost, do you know what you're talking about? Bro. You're talking about a girl or a lady embracing her femininity. Bro. Not not trying to rah, rah, rah against, man. Some some tug. Doing up, doing up. Get me. I'm sorry, babe. Like, it's long, bro. I I was wild. I don't, I can't, you see me? I've can't. realized I can't be with a girl that wants to war with you. Even when, we, yeah, <laughs> that just wants that beef all the time and you don't know how to do nothing you know else other than fucking argue. The most time you put any effort Energy. into this relationship Brother. is when you want to argue. 
Brother, this is not my story, by the way, I but I just see it too, so too. many Fuck times. That I can't do that. It is nuts. Listen, I, I just think it's mad. I just think it's mad that that's where your energy is. I just think that's nuts, bro. Hold on. So you get it. Let, that seg- let's segue into this, in it. So obviously we know Sierra, and mm. we know Russell Wilson. Mm. Now, obviously Russell Wilson, to a lot of guys, would class him as a sim. I don't fully believe he's a simp, but he's got a lot of simpish you, you, tendencies. You could say he's a he's a pick me guy as well. We'll get to pick me. We haven't got there yet. We're gonna get Wait, to that. Yeah. It's easy, right. can, yeah. So, so yeah, <laughs> I don't so, know, if I'm, I no, just no, looked gonna, at. I've just seen pictures. I know she worked with my man, and now she's with my right. man. That's she was, it. Obviously, future was mm. that guy. Well, he still is that guy, but I'm saying he was that guy that she was with, the trapper with bare BMs and that. Bare bread, rollies, all the rest of it. I heard he didn't trap though. I heard he was. Just, uh, just right for him. I don't know. We're just going by the characteristics. <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. And go then on. now she has got a nice, calm guy who plays American football. Still gets bread. Don't sleep on that. But he's not on no crime shit. That doesn't embrace that. Yeah. Now, me, per- my perspective, I was looking at it thinking, oh, well, she's she's done something good. She's gone out of the streets and she's locked down a man that seems to care for her and her kid and whatever. Problem is, though, if I'm a guy looking at what you get when you're a nice guy, how you get treated, yeah, and I'm seeing her <laughs> and him step on the, what is it, the Oscars? But they're the Oscars. I and she know. had a, did you, did you, have you seen a picture? No. Bruv, she had her whole cheeks and breasts out. Yes, exactly what I said. She, I'm, I can't even put the picture up. She ain't even got no cheeks, though. Let me see a picture. Don't get me wrong. She's got a nice body still, but that's not the point. The point is... Let me see a picture. I'm going to show you. She's slim, right? She's just slim. Yeah, yeah she, no, but she's she, she got a nice body still. I'm not going to, like, pop down her thing. Oops. But, yeah, the point... <laughs> <laughs> she tells you. She tells you. But the point is, the point is, yeah, if I'm, if I'm looking at that objectively thinking, raw, so what do you get when you sign up for marriage and that? And a lot of girls were like, raw, but... Her man's there. What's the problem? I Unless think she... it's too late still. Brother. Marriage, brother. I think marriage is that it's too late. No, but, but guess what? Do you oh, want to know something funny? For everyone. Oh. I, think, I think if you're looking to get married from here going forward onwards in this little society, this world we're living in now, scary, I think man. it's a madness, bro. Hold on, let me show There's you. There's too the, much against man, bro. Like. Uh, right. You know what my bank account is now? Imagine I have to give you half of that. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Imagine, Bruh. Can, you see, can you see what I'm saying, fam? Imagine you have to Show give somebody half salad. of what you've got in your bank account right now. So that's oh, crazy, man. Bro, I ain't giving no one no nothing, bro. That's the front. And scroll down, you can see the back. All of the back. The whole booty. <laughs> Look at the man, the man, the man zooming. Man zoomed! Ah! Man zoomed! Wrong picture. Wrong picture. Oh, God. What have you done? Have you pulled up my nudes? What? <laughs> I'm too dumb, you know. What was the picture that was on before, fam? I saw the back picture, bro. <laughs> oh, I think this might have Man been. Man, have cool. quadruple zoomed, you know. You can only zoom so much on iPhone. Oh my God. Man, I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah. yeah man, yeah. I'm trying to see the freckles on bum cheeks and that. I'm trying to see the stretch marks, cuz. No, yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Man, I was thinking out loud. <laughs> Now this is brazy. She, she no, wore, she wait, wore a string, This is, right? very, wait, this is wait, very brazy, though. That's, that's a string. Wait, that's I, a string I at the finished. Back. That's just so... I need to add the pepper. Give me back my phone. Hey, right. All I can say is bitch to that old man. If he's right. comfortable with her wearing he's that... He's with her, so it's cool, right? Okay, then that's, cool. Uh, that's him, but... Let me pause you there. Say Let me pause you there. I'll be comfortable with that. No. Let me pause you there. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like they say to themselves, they need publicity. Let's do something. All right. I feel like it's... So guess, you get what I'm saying? So I feel guess, like they, they say... Does she, have, does she have an album loading or something like that? Or single? Wait, let me, let me cook, bro. Let me cook. <laughs> so, let me talk. she is now going to release a song. Uh, I can't... I can't... Um, there we go. I can't play the song because I don't know if it will get copyrighted or whatever. But I'm going to play it so that we can hear it. But I'm going to cut this out of the pod, innit? If you want the song, I guess DM me, but you could probably find it. <laughs> I'll tell you the lyrics, whatever. <laughs> anyway... Bro, you look Where high. is it? You've been smoking. Yeah. What's smoking? Don't even know what that is. Yeah. Where's the tick? <laughs> been vaping. No, no, no. no, no, no. I had, I had a headache and I woke up. Is she still mad? Wait, 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 wait. Nah, she's still mad. She's still mad. I'm sick she's of this hypocrite shit. Wait.
So, to cut a long story short, as I said, I probably had to cut this out of the actual why YouTube do, clip. Why do married girls Wait, make pause. these type of songs? No, and this is what I'm going to go on to say. Sierra's made a tune. She's in a relationship. She's got a whole family she's with Russell Wilson. She's, she's in a marriage. Oscars. She's in yeah. a marriage. Yeah, whatever. I don't even, I'm not even going to lie. I, don't, I believe she's in a marriage, but I, I don't even know at this stage yet. Mm. But she still thinks, yeah, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a song promoting independent girls. Not a problem, right? But if that's the case, then why have you got a man? This is for the girls that got it by themselves. This is for the girls that are independent. When you're independent, that means you don't depend on a man. So why have you got a man? It's not making sense. Fam, I think we've already but, established what ind- to be independence fair, means for, for a female. To, to, to be what fair, does it mean? I don't. Personally, from what I've seen and, ex- and witnessed, not being with a girl, but what I've witnessed throughout life, when females get independent, they start to just drag men. That's it. They don't, they move like they don't need a man. Last time you I get checked, me and being independent just means being an adult. Get it? That, that that's what it really means. That's like, what it should be. Like, but how females look at it is like it always comes down to I don't need a man. Like these females of today act like they were living in the fucking nineteen oh ones and shit. When you <laughs> get me, like they they these girls act like right. I need to be. You don't need to be shit. You like bro, ain't been through that. Bro. None of them ain't been through none of that hardness, Let me that know. hardship that, you're, you're that you're women were fighting for back in the day. Send them to war, man. You get it. <laughs> my brother. We <my> <laughs> say send them to war, yeah. yeah oh, fuck it. And do you know why I spud you for that? Because this is something <laughs> that I have to explain sometimes to people that I'm not saying I don't want girls to be independent or whatever. whatever. Yeah, get your own bread. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part. what I was going to say. But though. understand your I, mentality shift in a way, when you do get that bread. I hear where she's coming from because in a way she has got her own, she has got her own bread from her own yeah. self and everything. But then again, so does everyone. But, in a way. But, let me all right, so all right, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 pause for a second. Let's just let's bring it down a bit. Yeah, but she ain't got that mentality though, wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. That's the thing. She's gonna go promote on. that shit, but she hasn't necessarily she's got not that living mentality. That life, bro. You get it? How she can... hasn't got that bro, mentality, fam. Bro, bro. She's fully married with Pickney and happy, Man, bro. Them. Imagine and she's them. always willing to show she's... pictures of how happy the family is. Right. But you're gonna tell you're other gonna females song... to be rare tear tear. She's, like brother, it, man. Don't this is what I'm she's, do, she's doing what sells, isn't it? Exactly, which is the problem. Because if I, who am not a trapper, I'm not on road, jump out tomorrow making 30 tunes about how I've chef man and do this and do that, yeah, the songs might sound fantastic. Yeah, they might sell. But the message I'm pushing, the message I'm pushing, I'm not even living that. Mm. So I can't even say, oh, bro, I'm just talking my story, innit? Like, I'm just talking about my life. That's not even my life. So why are you going to go and bro, sell that to young, impressionable Beyonce girls? Beyonce been doing it for long. That's not man. your life. But the, but this, this is another Beyonce thing. Been doing it for ages. But this is another thing. single ladies. When you, was when you with Jay Z them time there, about up in the club, which club? Shut up. <laughs> but when you when you see Beyonce next to Jay Z, she's she's club, what, you know, whatever. But when you see Jay Z next to Beyonce, Beyonce looks like the lady that she is. She doesn't look like she's trying to be more masculine than Jay Z. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? She she clearly knows and and obviously he cheated in that, but she clearly knows and understands raw. It's not in our best interest for me to be a single lady and to be independent. It's in my best interest to be with my husband and stay together and actually work on our relationship. And now they're the real definition of, of a power couple. But anyway, yeah, I'm tired of this shit. I'm not going to lie. I'm about <laughs> this close to saying bun black people. Yes, I said what I said. Don't read, read. Yeah, don't read true in your sex. Yeah. I'm waiting for the coon messages because they're gonna fly through. Man's a coon. Yeah, hold, on, hold, hold, hold on, Doctor Uma. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, do you know why I say? No, what that's I'm crazy, though. No, no, but I, the, I have, the reason why I'm this close is because we're the only group of people. We, we make it hard for ourselves. That co sign this <laughs> bollocks, bro, and it's dumb because we're the only ones doing it. Find me, find me, a uh, uh, Taylor Swift type that's making them type of tunes that's living that way as well. Go on. When you're ready, when you're ready. Go ahead, you want? Who? I, uh, <laughs> exactly. The point I'm trying to make is... To me, yeah, I see, I, I see it like this, yeah. You see for... Uh, tired of this you shit, You see bro. for a different culture of artists to make them type of songs. They go through some mad breakup trauma and then they make one tune... Right. Talking some shit 
And then that's it. They go back to I. E. Adele. doing what they were doing. You I. get what e. I'm saying, fam? Adele. Adele was like we, one of the black, only people black, that done something Black like females that. love making them single women choose. Brother. <laughs> you Brother. carry on, bruv. Brother. Calm the side, man. I'll turn up, <laughs> slang some dick and cut. You, you get me? So you're talking like, about you're still crazy. longer. No, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb still. Yeah, but the thing is, and Fuck again, that, for the disclaimer, it's not just about black women, and it's not even about that. It's more my perspective is about family. Yeah, I hopefully will build a family and legacy and an empire with my missus together. And I've already said I'll say it on camera. I don't even care. Yeah, they're not singing once, about the importance of family still. Once I sign up. To roll with my missus, yeah? We get married in that. That's me. She's signing to death oh. row, bro. There is no out. We're not, we don't do divorce, bro. It's not, it's, that's not what we're doing. It's, you don't sign up to this thing. And uh, sorry, sorry. I'm going off on one, but I have to say this, yeah? Y'all are getting married. Man are getting married. The thing says for better or worse, for richer or poorer, sickness and health. And as soon as shit goes left, as soon as a man loses his job, as soon as maybe he's not in the best of health, oh, uh, well, do you know what? I'm independent, don't need no man, so psh, peace, I'm out, divorce. And then, mid-40s, couple cats, hagen dazs in the freezer, box of wine, starting to realise, Raj, right, you know what? Maybe that electrician... That electrician's looking kind of all right, you know. Oh, my days. Like, I know I wanted the trapper and that, but I'm mid 40s and. That's a that, that, that electrician. That electrician came true. He's looking me. all right because he's kind of got a, a stable cup job. Of chocolate and that. He's kind of got a stable job, you know. So, do you know what? I might have to lower my standards, you know. I know he's got a belly, but, you know, who don't? And I'm just, I'm me personally, I'm just sick and tired of this shit, bro. Honestly, I'm, just, I'm tired of desperation. The desperation, <laughs> the fake. Oh, I don't need. Yes, you do. If you get, if you're a lady, you're in your house, you're independent. Fantastic. No one's wronging you for that. But if something goes left and someone broken in your house, you're gonna call the police. You want a Jake? That's a man. That's gonna come there. That's gonna let be some gal, enough, let some gal turn out. up. <laughs> what, five let's foot up, one let some girl fans turn up five, five foot one weighing 50 kilos <laughs> <laughs> bro come on man a firefighter comes to your yard what you want a five foot two flipping petite gal to be climbing bro let's be real bro stop trying to I, I'm actually sick and tired of this air of we are irrelevant it's, it goes back to our our last pod Bullshit. Uh, not our last pod, but a couple pods back. When we were like, um, about masculinity and feminine and the femininity. Right you know the maddest yeah, thing. Yeah, you know yeah. the maddest yeah. thing. Yeah, you know the maddest why thing. Why do girls want to be oh, no, man? Go, why, yeah. why do girls want to be man them so much? That's why I said, fuck it. Send them to war, man. Imagine. <laughs> they'll we, learn the hard way. You remember, don't forget, yeah. I, do feel, you know I, I feel like, this, I feel like they spoke themselves into fuckery. Brother. I feel like they've said, they've said so much that. That that masculinity is so toxic, yeah. It's funny how if masculinity is so toxic, how comes we're not the ones talking shit about you lot? <laughs> how come we ain't the ones going in on the women Damn. if we're so toxic? Damn. But you women seem to be men are just tox- toxic toxic masculinity. Watch this, yeah. But that's old. That shit is old. That shout is old. You see all this toxic masculinity talk and all that? It's old, bro. It's I don't want to hear it no more. You get it's it? It's not real. I will be who the fuck I want to be, bro. It's not real. You get it- me? I will have masculinity if I want to. Watch this, you yeah. you can stop me. Ladies, shit. ladies, you got two options. Option A. Ah, oh, babe, um, could you please, um, is it okay if we, do you want to go out this weekend? Or... <laughs> It's up to you. Option B. Listen, babe, there's three bills over there on the dresser. Go buy yourself a dress and sort I out promise- a restaurant for us. We're going out. Every, hey, every, going girl, out. every girl's picking up option two. They, exactly. cra- they crave for that. But that's toxic, though. You telling <laughs> a girl where she's going and assuming that she don't have her own bread and whatever is toxic. Oh, they're, just, they're confused, man. They're confused, man. But do you They're know confused. what I think is more funny? Shout out to the gal them that unfortunately have become <coughs> single mums and decided to raise the man that they wish they could date. So they just buy him bare shit and fill his head with nonsense. And now your youth doesn't even listen to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah man. It's hard, man. I've got a question, though. 
Go for it. Something that I saw. It's, got, it's a little bit off topic. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's a little bit off topic. I told you I'm not fucking around today, but I'm not in the mood, <laughs> fam. No, 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 no. It was um, something Toxic I see masculinity. on... masculinity. <laughs> something I see on Insta still. Go the, on. I think he's the owner of Porsche. Ah, uh, yeah. He, oh, he, he yeah. He's done with his gal. Yeah, she had, she, she, she's, I can't she's, lie, that's a bit bad. She's got, um, what's it called? Dementia. Dementia still. still. That's but, bad man for me still. My nigga, I, 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 I own Porsche. Are you I, I, joking? I, you're married, fam. What happened to, what happened to it in Force. sickness and I health? I know. <clears throat> so, as a man, we're all looking at that saying, right, that's kind of deep still. All right, but... But if it was the roles reverse, we probably wouldn't look at it that's, that way. But do you know what? Do you know what? How how often do you reckon that happens? It's a rarity, bro. In, in, it's a in, rarity. In, 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 in terms of both sexes. It's a rarity. How often does it happen? Like, Listen, how often would a woman leave a man because of his health or how often would a man leave a woman because of his health? I don't know I don't, the percentages. I don't really have much women. Uh, no, no, I don't, no. I, don't really have, I don't really have much women. Some women stay, but they're getting fucked. All right, how about this then? Let's, uh, hold on. <laughs> I, I, they, they, they might stay, but they're getting fucked let's, by someone else. I, 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 I can't disagree health. with that one. Let's still. take it away from <laughs> health, yeah? Men do the same thing like still. I, said, I, just, I just don't know the percentages. Wait, wait, let's take it away from health. You've got one relationship... <clears throat> Man and a woman, both have jobs, equal pay, everything's good. But then one day, the girl loses her job. Do you think she loses her job for, let's say, a year? Do you think that that man's going to leave that woman? Nah, bro. Right, flip it. My bitch. Right, flip it. <laughs> flip it now, yeah? Got you. Both, My both bitch. in a relationship, man and woman, both have same level of paying jobs. Man loses his job for a year. Can't get no job. He's dirt broke. Hey, he's out. half trying. He's not not trying, but he's half trying. He's kind of he's kind of calm because he's like, well, my missus has got it. Broski. Do you think that girl's gonna stay with him? She's out within the second month. Waste man. Waste man. Don't you think it's and interesting? Do you, and do you know what it is? Do, and you know what? Sorry, sorry. Do you know what it is as well? It won't even be the girl that's driving for her to leave. You should leave him. Why would you stay with that type you of got man? To it, you got to it first. It's the friends. The bridges. It's the, oh, my days. Bridges is the bridges. I'm going to lose it. Oh. Bridges singing in her head. I'm, I'm only talking about experience, they bro. About, that about shit, about their bedroom. Oh, Do you know what's jokes? <laughs> there's some, there's some, that hey, there's some bedrooms, toxic yeah. bedrooms even out bedrooms, there, bro. Even as bedrooms, yeah. You know what the maddest thing? We you would know? never say that to our bedrooms, you know. Bro, that's, I was just about to say, I said, you know the maddest thing about it, though? You see, gal. They tell all their friends all of their shit. Not all, but you know their circle. No, bro. They, tell they don't seem thing. to understand that their circle are holding secrets. Right on. You know, like that. Bro, do you know what I love the most? Go on. When a girl thinks that she can run to her friends with her business, and I know <laughs> I got shit on her friend. Or friends. You don't even know your friends. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying, fam? You don't even know who you're talking you know to. You're, in your head, telling them your business and that. Bro, get you're, it. Your bridging beat five dudes in one day and you're talking about on, advice man. from He's my get, brother. Oh, brother, brother, you've got it out here. Anyway, oh, get out of here. Out here out here Do you know what's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what's mad? That's, do you know what I see as mad? Gal will refuse to see their Whoa! thoughts. Huh? Imagine that. Girls re- refuse to see their their thoughts. Brother. As in they won't, they refuse to say to themselves they have a problem or they don't want to say it out loud. Brother. Do you get what I'm saying, fam? Brother. Brother, imagine, yeah, I know Gal, yeah, Shout again. I know, I know, I know, I know, watch this, I know chubby girls, yeah? Mm. Big gal, yeah? Mm. Need to do some shit with themselves type of gal, yeah? Mm. That don't like talking to their brethren, mm. who they've known for years, yeah? Mm. Because the brethren talks about gym a lot. Because, listen, the brethren was big once upon a time too. So you're saying the Bredgen actually did so something So the Bredgen found it. the Bredgen found herself and said, "Raw guy, I'm Jim. To do she does. She it. she done it. Good. She done well. She looks good now. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so she talks about Jim a lot. You know, I heard two gal over talking saying, "Raw, I don't really, I, really, I don't can't bother to answer her because all she does is talk about Jim." I looked at them and then I looked at her and I was like, "Nah, what is wrong?" I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying, how are men toxic? But this, this if is, you can't see that as toxic, that know, is the most toxic shit I've you know ever why heard. That's hilarious. That's hilarious for two reasons. Yeah. Look at yourself, bro. That's hilarious for why two reasons. Why don't you look at themselves? Like? <laughs> no, I'm just going to say. No, first, t- wait, wait, wait. T- t- take a look at the mirror. Take a look at the mirror. Now slap yourself. <laughs> Fuck now you. Do it again. Now slap yourself. <laughs> now listen. First reason why that's hilarious is because a lot of ladies do not like to come out of their reality the reality that they've created within their world so they don't like the truth their little bubble their little bubble so like you said even though 
there's three friends there's two big friends and one friend that was big but decided to self-improve themselves and now her lifestyle is gym. The two friends that are still big didn't think to themselves, you know what, let me use my friend as motivation and try and do the same. They said, you know what, I'd rather stay in my delusion and my little bubble that I've created and just wallow in it and not do nothing about my reality. And then, in the same breath, bitch about that person. That's fine. You can do. You can do that. But again, but life is just going to pass. Wait, wait. Again, you know what? I stayed silent at the time of when I was hearing it. Let me, let yeah. me flip the but sexes. I thought about it. and I said to myself, "This is so flip up. Flip, flip like, the that sexes. Is just mad, flip the sexes. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big guy. Whatever. You're a big guy. Whatever. E man's a big guy, but he loses weight. What's the first thing we're all gonna say to man? Well, oh, brothers, you know what? I need to come gym as well. I you know. know. You, yeah. you need to start what, taking what? man gym. You, you know. Get man's been, since man's been on <laughs> Girls this. Girls do that too. Since Girls do that too. But do you know what? A lot of them are on some different shit when they don't. You know when they like just because you ain't got the confidence she had, just because you ain't got the willpower she had. But you can now get she's. She, you get what I'm saying? You now she's it, something though. different. Exactly. And you know what I don't like? You know that's what, what we You know what I don't like about saying. people? You know what I don't like about people with weight? They carry on waiting. What, just like letting the years go by? They carry on waiting yeah. like tomorrow, now, nah, now, nah, I'm going to... That's a double entendre you, you get what I'm saying, fam? That's a double entendre. Tomorrow and that, you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Dude, listen, the quicker you get in there, the quicker you see what it's going to take, what it's going... Do you know what I mean? The quicker your mental... Uh, I, 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 bro, I Look, just you see when it comes to that type of ignorance, sometimes I just don't get it. You, like, no, I don't get it. Bro. You see, life is good like this because, regardless of what reality you create, I am a trans billionaire. That means absolutely nothing to Santander or HSBC. When they look at my account, they will see, okay, he's maybe not a billionaire. No matter <laughs> how you feel and what you say and all this is bollocks, in reality, Oh, I feel fantastic about how I look in real. That's fantastic. Let's see if you actually get a man. Let's see if you actually get a man that would actually like to be with you for a long period of time. Let's <coughs> see how that works, because you probably won't. But yeah. Yeah, man. Um, Surrender to the real you, man. These fucking... Brother, you see this world right now. And this goes it's for Gallim and Mandem, by the it's way. It's all fucked, man. I'm just using Gallim as an example. Surrender to the real you, but otherwise you're never going to find a person that actually loves you for you, bro. Say that again. You're never please, like... Bro. Say that again. You please. get it, like... You, I don't just, think they heard you just got to be yourself, bro. Surrender to the real you. Some people out here just got too much pride. You got too much... I don't know if it's, you can call it shame within yourself or it was whatever. Samuels, isn't it? Do you get yeah. what I'm saying, he said, bro? He said, you got to be, you you be, gotta prideful, be honest with yourself, bro. You get it? You, you gotta be, be honest with yourself, fam. But super obese. How how does that make sense? You're, what are you and proud not, of? And you what know the maddest thing. Of? You know the maddest thing, yeah. You know the maddest thing about the girls that I was talking about. They both want to fucking go gym. Dude. They both want to of lose weight. Of course they do. They both want to lose oh. weight, especially one of them. I know that for sure. I guarantee you. You yeah. get it. I guarantee you. They want you. to lose weight, bro. I like their confidence you. is flushed. I guarantee you, they get lipo. Before they actually think, you know what, I'm actually going to put the work in day by yeah, day. Yeah, that's Ch- what it is, Change bro. my entire lifestyle. Because you know Get what's funny? Get lazy in that. That's I what it know, is, bro. It's laziness, I know a bro. girl. I know a girl who got lipo, got her body done. And guess what happened when she come back to the end? She put all the weight back on. You know why? Because that's not your lifestyle. Your lifestyle didn't but change. I know a girl you that... just got lipo, got I know a girl from that ends that went and got shit done and I didn't even notice. Say that again? Huh? What? No, I do, I do. What? You say, I, I'm I still listening to what comes I know a girl from, from ends that went and got shit done and I didn't even know it. I was like, wait, what? What are you sure? Is it who I'm thinking of? Is it who I'm thinking of? I don't know who you're thinking of. No, she just got a BBL so she can work in Asda. Oh, okay. That's Asda. Huh? That's the yeah. Cam's caught on. Caught on, bro. <laughs> of course he did, bro. Come on, Listen, now. the point I'm trying to make is, uh, <laughs> and again, this is not just about women. Me, this about, is just bro. observations and life and reality, and it goes for men as well. The the Nike broke dons that don't think, Rod. You know what? Let me actually try and learn more. Let me actually try and interact with women. Let me actually try and read some books about how to self-improve as a human. No, I'm just going to sit behind a, sc- a screen, behind an avi, and cuss women online. You're a nerd. Get a life. That's sneaky, bro. <laughs> no, but you have to... It's, they're both one of the same. The only difference is one is going to put on clothes and 
tell you I'm still nice and the other one's just not even going to go outside. And I think they're both just as bad as each other because you're both delusional and not living in reality. <clears throat> Bitches start to wear all black and that. Like, brother, brother, your brother, trainers are all brother, black. Brother, you might as well be a goth. Are you a goth? Brother, you might brother. as well be a goth. Don't you know what you just done? You just hotted that man's whole operation. Like they was playing a good f- like back five, like <laughs> five four one, and you just when you said the all black thing, you just hotted yeah, that whole five. formation. I'm like what? Nah, man. I don't even know what to buy you and that. Like what? <laughs> Every <laughs> trainer's <laughs> black. Clothes black. Like, like what? I said a one. What do tick. I buy you, bro? Listen, let's, we, black is beautiful. Comes, black like, is my girlfriend. What do I buy you, you if you don't damn like right. shit? Damn right, but not stupid black. Good black. Good <clears throat> black women and good black men that are doing their thing and providing for their people. That's beautiful and excellent. Not no stupidness, yeah? That's not co-signing that bullshit. Bro, which I'm tired of. Yeah? I know a girl that can't tired cook and clean that doesn't want to learn how to cook and clean. Wait, wait, you're, so, you're so trying to start me off, man. We're going to go to... I know a girl that can't cook and clean that doesn't want to... Teach herself how to cook and clean. She doesn't yeah. want to learn a life. Like you like know I when said, you, like I said, you know when you, you try to drop hints, hints, just leave them to be. You know oh, when you, life you know is you just gonna drop hints, past like, them, bro. <laughs> you know when you try to drop hints, I said, I said, there's a kit, you know. You know when you there's try to drop kit, hints, it's got like, the seasoning in there. You ain't got a mix. It's just got the whole seasoning there. I, I fuck that, yeah. <laughs> I, as a woman, yeah. As a woman, I, I don't know how that feels, isn't it? I know man, them don't know how it feels, isn't it? But as a woman, if a man came to your house, yeah. And said to you one day, I'm going to tidy up your room. How would you feel? How how would you feel, ladies? Do you get it? Answer below. No, I just I, I just need to... I'm just asking, innit? <laughs> For a friend. <laughs> For a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Show me potato salad. <laughs> um, listen, we're about to... Come when out. I was younger and oh, a girl oh. came to my house and said that, I was happy as fuck. Like, tidy up my room. Oh, no. Go on, then. <laughs> Word, bro. You get it, but you see, as a big grown man, you're deep. Hey. But you see, my room me, should have been tidied so much that you left here speaking about it. But see, this is the thing, yeah. You no, know, like that, fam. You because, went and told your friends, like he lives good, you know. He's, you see, he's really tidy and neat. See how man's grown, yeah. Fuck you. You don't know, obviously like, know my mum and what she's on, yeah. Because I'm a, a young Caribbean king, yeah. <laughs> she's grown me in a way where I can cook and clean and all of these things for myself. Right. So for me. I've gone to girls' yard and your bin's been there for like four days. That's why I was. I was like, gonna. Ask, I was gonna ask that question. How can you not smell this? <laughs> like, so, what so, the hell's happening here? It's overflowing. It's leaking. And sorry, what was you gonna say? I, was I, got, I went off on one. Nah, <laughs> things like that. I was gonna say, who would you? Who would you? Blame that on. Would they, you blame it on? I blame their it on upbringing. both. They're gonna be thinking we're, we're dating beer and, the and their parents. Beer gremlins. Because you know what? <laughs> even me. Even they're gonna me. be thinking man's been dating beer gremlins. No, but <laughs> we're not me. focusing on the people that's doing their jobs because they're doing their jobs. Yeah. We're focusing oh. on the people that are just oblivious to life and think, yeah, they can command a certain type of person when they can't even empty their bin. <laughs> oh dear. From the ages of six, I was I was taking the bin to the shoot, bro. Bro. From the ages of eight. I had to stand on the stool to wash my own plate, bro. Brother. Making my own Indomie, fam, and all of that, bro. Brother. Getting taught how to make Brother, stew and that, fam. Hey, listen. Jollof rice, bro. Hey, listen. I'll let you, go. you see, when it comes to washing up, yeah, <laughs> the only <laughs> place I really used to have to wash up, because I'm the youngest, was at my grandma's. Because it would be a thing oh, where someone does the living room, <laughs> someone does the Everybody hallway. Everybody take a base. And, some, and someone does, and <laughs> someone does the kitchen, base. you get it? What do you mean you're not... You see, you're, you're not you see if you haven't yet. got that in your family... Yeah. Then... I, I feel sorry for your essence. But this... Uh, bro, because you're... Now, what have you got to ch- teach your children? Brother. You can't cook and clean and you've... If you... Imagine you Man had a child woman, by at the way. this age. Yeah, if male or yeah, female. it's not about sexes. Because you see me, bro. My mum never said, go and pick up the iron and iron your clothes. Brother. You know what said, go and pick up the iron? I looked at my clothes one day I said, I want to look fucking nice. Bruv. You get you me? Get I, want, I want to look like I was raised by a woman. I want a my to look fresh. You get me? I want to look like I've got people in my, in my life that okay. love me. Brother. Do you get what I'm saying, Brother. fam? So I said, raw, let me go pick up the iron. I will burn iron. out my belly one time with the iron, fam. Trying to iron my jeans. You I get me? I told you. I remember I told you. I burn out my belly, fam, because I didn't Bruv. realize it was, what? I was that close I to it. I told you that I burnt my belly, You get me, fam? I was ironing my boxes. I'm telling you, fam. I've done all that shit on myself. yourself. You see, you see, this even happened, I watch this. You see, even washing machine. It wasn't a lot though. It came. You off. see, even washing machine, but I was putting my own clothes. My mum and my family can vouch for this. I was putting my own clothes in the washing machine from primary school. Yeah, bro, that's that's what I said. That's primary standard, school. That's standard. primary school. That was easy. That was light work. 
Brother. You get me hoovering up, tidying up my room and that. But you know mm. what? From yeah. a young age, bro. I'm talking about cleaning, though. You know, every weekend comes the yeah, deep uh, clean. Bro, of course, bro. You know, every, every weekend every, the deep clean. Every Saturday, you, you hoover, me, bro, clean the bathtub, on, wash the you place. You move that shit, bro. lift it up, but you don't clean, normally clean do on a regular day. The windows, bro. You see, it's, you see it's what we're still. talking about, and this goes back to what you said earlier about um, the Western eyes and the, the principles being stripped away. And obviously, a lot of gal can... And a lot of man can rely on takeaway and they can rely on the app and all of these things. You can rely on a washing machine. No, not washing machine, sorry, a dishwasher. You can rely on appliances to save you. But we weren't raised like that. We were raised where, well, get up. We would love to have a dishwasher. But I can do this get up and pattern your shit yourself. What, you just yam a whole big plate of chicken and rice and peas and what, you think that mum's yeah, going to go and wash if, back the same you see thing? If I had a she dish, might. You see if I had a dishwasher but you back in the day. go wash up, blood. I can't lie. Mm. If I had a dishwasher back in the day, the plates might have been like that in my room, you know. <laughs> you know when you don't, you get ready for them? That's how the clothes work. Could you, I can't, I can't you lift it up, yeah, you that's get how, ready. To, you know like that? Stuff. You don't have to worry about your mum coming in your bedroom and cussing and going mad. Or you don't have to worry about the fact that you're about to go and leave all of these on the side and Come cut. on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> don't ever get caught on that transition back. <laughs> what? If you get caught what? on the half turn when you're bringing them dishes. What? Are you, you mad? You, you, you can't leave the dishes. You're going to wash up the thing there, you know? Listen, before we leave, obviously this episode has been centred on relationships. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There are still some good girls out there that know how to cook and clean. No, we're, not just, we're, we're not just rubbing out all the, all the girl them because I've got some good pe- good female friends that know how to get it. But as I said, we're not talking about them or highlighting them because they do their job, they know they do their job mm. and they're going to continue to do it regardless of us chatting shit on our pod. Yeah. I'm talking about and highlighting the whatless people, male or female, that mm. are there waffling... And when you ask them, right, so what, like, what can you, like, what can you cook? Well, you know, usually I just, I just order this. I know how to make toast. I know how to, <laughs> you know how to make, I know how to make breakfast. I know how to turn the microwave for two minutes. Let me get say, oh, some Uncle and Ben's, some one, Uncle Ben's 120 or whatever. Did you, sorry, sorry, guys. Did you want to talk about that thing that we were talking about before or should we leave it for another day? Leave it for another day. Because, cool. yeah, yeah. I want to, I do want to leave the, the pod story. on this. Um, this is, Anyone from the nine talking about youths. It's he's talking about London youths, but it's worldwide. It doesn't matter. You can swap youths for the N word if that's what you want to use. You can swap it for whatever. <laughs> this the point of what you're saying still stands, and I've spoken to you about this before. But I'm gonna play, let this play, and then we'll talk about it after before we go. Uh, Where is it? How are you? When people get done for murder. Oh, I saw that. Murderers, I saw that. They're idiots. <laughs> idiots, the right word for them. There should be a conviction that says idiocy. <laughs> they're not murderers, bro. They're idiots. These people will stab a guy and pray for him right after. And say, God, please don't let him die. But then he does. And now you're doing a life sentence. And that's what's really going on in London. It's not... Oh, I want to kill that guy, so I'm going to take a knife and stab him. Everyone's scared. Right, so I'll let the man them go, and then I'll give my thoughts. At I feel like that's, 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 I would say it's 90% right. Yep, yeah, you're going to get because the one. Because there's, there's one or two that won't kill. As, as you would <laughs> get it, fam. We're just going to get exceptions. You get it, fam. There's one or two that won't kill, fam. The, the, and there's the, one the or two ones, that. The tapping that, ones in the band. In you the know bunch. what it is? They're not supposed to be there, bro. Mm. You see when you're that guy? You're supposed to understand that this isn't for you, but you don't at that early age. You get it? It's you, not or, for you because you if, you, gonna... if you've got the right sense to think to yourself, I'm going to carry this knife. Mm. I'm going to carry this gun. Mm. I'm going to use it, but I don't want to do life. Mm. <laughs> you see, if you've got the sense to think like that, brother, it's not for you. No. You get me? It's not for you, bro. No. You get it? It's not for you, bro. Because you don't really want to. Mad mastermind that knows how to get away. You don't want to go to jail. You're not even like you see when you you're the type of person that does think about that that does think about. Yeah, you see when you're thinking so deeply, that's not for (laughs) you, brother. You see when you're not thinking with the person that the one that doesn't think, the one that says, "Yeah, blood is gonna dead." Don't care. They're built for road. Big facts. You get it, fam. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, though. It doesn't matter who you are. Any man will cry in jail if they got life. Yeah. You get me? It doesn't really matter who you are. Because well, certain things come into that aspect. You get it? But the ones that are doing dumb shit and going Joe and crying, brother, you're dead food. 
Um, you, see, you get me? You see the niggas that have got real shit to lose out here. Brother. That know they've been put into a corner so they had to do what they did. Brother, that's a different thing. That's mm. a whole different... A whole different you get thing. me? Mm. But, all right, so do you want, do you want to say anything or... Ghost covered it. Do you no, remember still... when we was chilling and I said to you, I don't know if you was their ghost, yeah? <clears> I said to you, a lot of youths that you hear rapping, whether they do drill, they do trap, probably more so drill because drill's about obviously chefing people and burning people, yeah? I said to you that don't get it twisted that because these men are making wavy songs about their crimes that they're so brave and braggadocious oh, yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, it is, is they actually can't live with the guilt of what they've actually done because like you said, they've actually got a part of their brain which goes, I didn't really mean to kill him though. Like, mm. And also they realise, well, wow, eventually there's a high chance the feds are going to do their research, track back and I'm going to get bagged and I'm going to get it. I'm going to get years. The point I'm trying to make is, especially after A1 from the 9 said that, shout out to him for that, and I do like some of his tunes, yeah, is that, like you just said, majority of the youths on road, you're not even bad. You're not even built like that. And even the yard that you come from ain't come, even like a... Come a, from a great home. Yeah, bro. like you ain't even come from a bad home where you're you really have kid, to bro. jump on roll like that. I know a few of these people personally wearing ballys in videos making shit tunes and you didn't even have to do roll. <laughs> Sorry, God. Hey, this guy's had enough, bro. No, bro, I told you, I'm not, I'm not in the mood, bro. I'm not in the mood. I'm tired That's of this said, bullshit. With your shit belly yeah, and your like, shit shoes. Bro, no, because I'm tired. And this is what I said. It's predominantly black people. It's our culture. It's our shit that we do and we started. Whether it be the gal them, whether it be the man them. I'm tired of this bullshit, bro. It's bollocks. You're not a bad you. You're just rolling with other youths that are mentally unwell that, like you said, are cool to do crimes and they won't think twice. But you are yeah, thinking right. twice about it because you're not a bad you. They don't know. It reminds, me, else, though, it reminds me of someone. What is their mind the built on, fam? Their mind's built on TV, film, social media, etc., etc. And the good guys That's don't okay. ever win still. You get I'm it? winning. You get me? <laughs> I'm <laughs> out here in real their, life. Their mindset is built on the good guy moving. Kind I'm of free. I'm free. Yeah, I mean, freedom is priceless. I can hey. go to the shop and buy a Twix and it's making me feel very comfortable. Shout out to the man in pen. I'm not trying to mock you lot. What I'm saying is when you said, like you said, and like a lot of the younger lot would say, yeah, but the man them that are doing religion, that like, they ain't really doing nothing. Brother, man's hey. got freedom. You I can get, go and bro, check my mum. Like you said, freedom is priceless, bro. You get it? Like you can't ask any lifer that's in pen right now how much they would put on coming out of pen. And just living their life normally. And also ask them if they could take back that M that they got bagged for, would they? Most of them would take it back in a heartbeat, fam. 101% of them would take it back, bruv. Because you can't convince me being around another bag of man for the rest of your life is lit. It's not. Bro, like I said, it's not. The, them dons like, that, it's just not. Them dons that love the gel thing, they're, they're just gay, bro. So, so, what did you say? I didn't hear that. I said, I said them, them dons that love the gay. Oh, oh. <laughs> them, them dons <laughs> that love, love the, the <laughs> them, t- them dons that love the jail thing. They're just gay, bro. Because why do you like? Why, why do you like being around men so much, man? For, for, for predominantly a whole day. For twenty three hours of your life, you're man. you're gonna be with a man, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> and then you get one hour of freedom, you and pool, you're still with man, fam. The pool of family <laughs> and their gal ain't, ain't strong enough, bro. Because they don't like gal. <laughs> Where those man, bro. bro? You don't know how I'm scared of jail, fam. Bro, scared of it, fam. What was the? What is it? Is it lockdown? Was that the? Was that the? the I've been in it, so I can't thing. be scared of it. But I ain't trying to go back for Never. real, for real, fam. For real, for real, fam. Nah, bro. Because it's not, it's, bro. It's, it's long, man. It's long. Stop and my paper. That's that's why I wanted to. That's why I wanted to um, end that's, on that. I like spending money. Bro, <laughs> I like going and buying food. I'm a big but just making it. Enjoy, nah. you make hella money, but you can't, you can't really spend it. I like going it. on holidays. I like seeing chicks with big bums. Bad man, I like being partially free. Let's just say that. I like going to the gym. Get it. I like, I like being, I like being able to just come man it, man it free out here, here. But we're partially free, free, you get me? Free enough. I like that, yeah. I free like enough. that free enough bullshit. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. man. Um... Well, <laughs> shout out shout, shout the lifers, though. Yeah, bro, I said that. Shout out the man in pen. I ain't talking about the ones yeah, that man. like circumstances and they were back to the corner and came mm. from a certain background. I ain't talking about you lot. I know that you lot gone through some shit, so you just 
unfortunately ended up where you ended up. I'm talking about the youths that see everything and say, do you know what I'm going to do? Instead of doing Lidge, I'm still going to do road. I'm, I'm still going to do road. Like, it just makes more sense to just do illegal shit, even though they've got the best tech ever possible. I'm still going to do road. You're an Egypt, bruv. And I have no sympathy for you. Right, fam. The, right now, this is the worst time for you to even want to do road, fam. No, no. Like you said, they've got all the high tech and everything. Bro, you're just better off being a normal guy, fam. I know. <laughs> Drop me out, man. But yeah, man, on that note, any, man, have got anything to say before we dip out? Amazing podcast. I, I would have to say that stuff. And this is the energy I'm you know what? With, just so you know. <clears throat> you know what I do want to say, though? Damn the shit. Fuck all these big podcasters that talk shit about other podcasters. Like mm. fuck oh, you, sorry, bro. I to that's say that's mm. what, well. you know what I hate about the English culture. I you see when you look, you see when you well. see in America, you see oh. what them big podcasters that are doing their thing. They're not dissing podcasters that are thing. up and coming. They're just doing their thing. You see England, they want to talk about oh you podcasters are shit, but I say that to man's face and not Listen. in your studio. What, what was I saying? What was <laughs> say what, that to man's what, face? What, and what not do in your I always studio. say? What do I always say? What do I always say about the UK? It's fucking dead food, man. The UK Listen, is bad vibes, bro. They want anyhow they the want. UK is you know bad what it is? Vibes, you know what it is? Go on. They expect you to be gimmicks like them. You see it? They expect you mm. to talk about nothing but comedy shit like they Dumb do. Dumb shit. And make people laugh all the time like they do. No, man, they're a gimmick, brother. I ain't nah. built like that. Sorry. Thank you, bro. Like, sorry, Listen, I just not built like that. Sorry. sorry, sorry. You just, you just, you just went <laughs> you know like, like that. that fam. Man, I ain't built like that. that. I apologize, Listen. Listen. But I'll dong out your jaw, bro. Listen. Mine out, Listen. man. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. You get me, though, for... Come and talk to man's hold face. On, on, Every on. podcast you feel shit, go and say it to their faces. All you big, big podcasters apparently that feel like these these Hello. little up and coming podcasters are dead. Hello. Go and talk to them about it. But you know what's funny? And see what happens. I bet mean, they punch you up. So imagine that. But what happened so, to wait, 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 on the team? At one point you was on. them, man. Go on. So <laughs> why can't man instead of saying oh if you, okay cool if you really think man's podcast is shit. Why don't you give man constructive criticism or feedback I'm on how to get... explain it to you how guys. To get, like, I'm going to break it down. Oh, uh, you know, like, if you did something like that, it no, might no, no, probably... No, 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 I don't even care about that. No, no, let me break it down. Because certain man you. can't Go tell on. certain man what to do because what they put about and what you put about are it's two different, different things. But listen, you get listen, what I'm saying? Let me, let me break it mm. down. Enough men are just yeah. gimmicks on their pods, you know, brother. So and that, don't you realise that's what the most biggest pods are nowadays? Of course. Gimmicks. Foolishness, Rubai. Just dumb shit just to make people laugh and forget about the real shit that's most important in life. Ghost, you get what I'm saying? Ghost, bro? listen, let me, that, let me end the pod on this because you actually reminded shit, me. Bro. I do what I like. So no, here's the deal, man. yeah? This is, how, this is how it works in the UK. If you're from the UK or you're not from the UK, let me break it down to you how it works. You're on the come up. You're on the grind. You're underground. Do anything, do anything. Then you start to bubble up a bit. Oh, maybe I should go mainstream. Okay, I'm going to try to go mainstream. You go mainstream, probably doesn't work out. Maybe it does work out, but it probably won't work out. So you come back to the underground. So you bubble up more, bubble up more, bubble up more. Now you're cemented as the top of the underground scene. So now you know you're top of the underground scene. You start to adopt the same tendencies that you used to cuss when you started your thing and saying, oh, the gatekeepers in the industry and the blah, 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 blah. They don't want us to do this and that. But then you become those same people shitting on the people that's on the come up on the underground doing their thing. As Ghost just said, suck your mum. Yeah, I'm tired of this bullshit. I told man I'm coming with different energy. I'm tired of this Ghost bullshit. Sucker, hold on, hold on. Da, da, da. It's not about anyone specific because it's a large group of people talking about raw, not another podcast, male podcasters, this podcast. Listen, if you think a podcast is so easy, you go try and do it. You go try and do it because it's just so easy. If you think our podcast is shit, cool, that's your opinion. But guess what? Still going to be here next week. And also, if you think, oh, we don't need another podcast, let me just break something down to you, yeah? Last time I checked, podcasting and music is billion pound businesses. Probably together it's trillion pound business, yeah? If you get 1% of a billion, is that not a lot of money? Yeah. So why (laughs) in the hell would I not look at a scene that's flourishing and growing and not choose to insert myself in that scene when I feel like I have something to offer. Suck your mum. I'm tired of this bullshit, bro. I'm telling you. I'm not hearing it no more. You can eat a dick. One more thing, yeah. Put this right. If you really think I'll put... Like like you said, all these guys that are saying, oh, these podcasts are shit and that, 
Bro, that means we're doing something right. Because exactly. you're, 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 you're checking out for us, bro. Exactly. You're checking out for us. You're giving us a, you're That's giving exactly us a view, bro. That's exactly what's happened, bro. <laughs> because me personally, I've seen other podcasters who I would say are on our level, whatever. I look at their thing, I think, raw. your thing's not even really on my level in terms of what I think is quality. So I'm not even worried about you. I will even give you game on how to make your thing better. Like you said. Because I'm not worried about you. I don't but see I, you as a friend. I don't care who level, what level. I don't care about any level. Everybody's doing their thing. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's it, man. Just shut the fuck up. Everyone just shut the fuck up, bruv. You get me? Come and talk to me personally or go and talk to the people you're happen. talking about personally. It's not gonna go and do that shit instead of doing that, that talking that shit on camera or on your, in your studio or on your social media platform. Suck up, man. That shit's yeah, dead food, bro. Honestly, bro. Honestly. But yeah, it's, I just find it funny that these people become the same people that they used to cuss when they started their thing. It's funny. It's funny how that works, bro. But the good thing is, man knows that man's going to be blowing and destined to do big things. Shout out GDG and that. Man's actually wearing the top right now. Man's going to be linking up with certain people abroad and that. And when we get the love from abroad and then it comes back to the UK, I'll be there when you say, oh shit. Man should have fucked with them from the beginning, you know. I didn't even know them man was going to go like that. I didn't even know their thing was going to blow like that. I'll be there. Let's go. <clears throat> Nigga, I've been a ghost. Come fucking me. <laughs> We're gone. Bullet.